Yeah, this is just, this is crazy, mind-boggling. For two weeks, I've been up between midnight and six o'clock in the morning, my time, you know, streaming with people, having fun, not being able to sleep. And the first time in two weeks that I am able to sleep, that's when craziness happens. Like, oh, I don't know, Gina Carano suing Disney and Lucasfilm for all they have, Elon Musk supporting her and going to be paying her bills, and a wink from Elon Musk to the libs of TikTok saying, Elon, buy Disney? That's just crazy. And I missed out on it. So with all this news coming out, we have to take everything bit by bit. And at first, we're going to be looking at what Gina Carano tweeted out that has Hollywood stirring. Now, we did cover the first round of tweets that Gina Carano did just a couple of months back, and we're still hoping for some of the leaked emails. Possibly, they will be presented during this lawsuit to show what a bad faith company that Disney is. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this tweet. Gina Carano says, Today is an important day for me. I am filing a lawsuit against Lucasfilm and Disney. After 20 years of building a career from scratch and during the, re the regime of former Disney CEO Bob Chapek, Lucasfilm made this statement on Twitter terminating me from The Mandalorian. Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm, and there are no plans for her to be in the future. Nevertheless, her social media posts degenerating people based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. Now, we've covered this. We know what, sh what things she tweeted out. None of it is true. It's just, you know, she has the wrong mind think for some of the people in Hollywood and specifically in Disney. Now, nothing could be further from the truth. The truth is I was being hunted down from everything I posted to every post I liked because I was not in line with the acceptable narrative of the time, which is true. My and still not. My words were consistently twisted and demonized and dehumanized uh, and dehumanized me as an alt-right wing extremist. It was a bullying smear campaign aimed at silencing, destroying and making an example out of me. And that's true. That's what it was. The thing is, n I never even used aggressive language. I shared thought provoking quotes pictures, memes, and occasionally I used my own words, not with aggression, but with respect and occasional comedy to keep the mood light in dark times. And a lot of people appreciated that. A lot of people agreed with her. A lot of people felt that what she was saying was true and is true. But you know what? There were other people on The Mandalorian that were tweeting out that half the nation of the United States are Yahtzees, follow Mustache Man. Nothing. Zero. Zilch. Nobody complaining about that for some reason. Look with your own eyes at what I posted and ask yourself, for example, where did I compare Republicans to Jewish people in the Holocaust? She didn't. I didn't. Oh, well. Ask yourself why they are calling me a racist. Was there any merit behind that or history of it whatsoever? No. Look at why I was called a transphobe for making droid noises from Star Wars. Beep, bop, boop. She put that in her bio and people got butt hurt over it. Was obviously directed to the one line bullies and did not in any way denigrate, I can't pronounce words worth a shit, so sorry, 
transgender people and didn't. I mean, come on. If if you've looked on my bio, I said I'm a beer drinker and I do different things on YouTube. There are no pronouns for me. Uh, Were my questions about masks, lockdowns, and forced vaccinations okay to ask and uh, and push the subject into the light? Should we have been allowed to publicly discuss those topics at that time without being harassed or censored? Absolutely. And I, you know, I'm one of those people that bring the discussion. You don't have to agree with someone, but bring the discussion. If someone says something that I don't agree with, I won't shut them down. No, I'll have the discussion because I want to understand their point of view. Why do you think this way? Why do you want this to happen? That doesn't always happen. Why? Because a lot of these people just, you know, want to put out a statement and then just leave it. They don't want discussion. It depends on what side of the aisle that you are on, what you are currently thinking. Hollywood says they support female representation and equal rights. Why then were my male co-stars permitted to speak without harassment and re-education courses or termination. But I was not afforded the same right to exercise my freedom of speech. And she's she's clearly talking about Pedro Pascal calling half the nation Yahtzees. How is that okay? How is that okay? Artists do not sign away our rights as American citizens when we enter into employment. I have spoken to all my co-stars since I was fired, and there's nothing but care and kind words between us. And look, I can understand that. I'm not saying that Petro Pascal shouldn't have the right to say the things that he did. I think he's an idiot for it. But at the end of the day, he is just a male pretender. That's what it is. Um... Where were we? I respect their right to free speech and do not have to think the same on every issue to be their friends and work with them. And I know they feel the same towards me. That's how it should be. A couple months ago, Elon Musk tweeted that if you had been fired from using the platform X for exercising your right to free speech, he would like to offer these people legal representation. Quite the noble offer, but never in my wildest dreams would I have thought someone would take on my case against Lucasfilm Disney. Still, I did respond back, I think I qualify, and thousands of people agreed, but I did not expect anything. This is where it's just, wow. To my surprise, a few months ago, I received an email from a lawyer who had been hired by X to look into my story and many others. Turns out, after sending them as much information as I could gather these past few months, my now lawyers and X believe wholeheartedly in my case and are moving forward. I would like to express my deepest gratitude and... Thank you to at Elon Musk and at X for giving me an opportunity to bring my case to light. As for me, I would love to pick up where I left off and continue my journey of creating and participating in storytelling, which is my utmost passion and everything I worked so hard for. It has been difficult to move forward with the lies and labels stuck on me, backed and encouraged by the most powerful entertainment company in the world. I am grateful someone has come to my defense in such a powerful way and look forward to clearing my name. Thank you to all the people who have supported me and made your voices heard. I pray God bless each and every one of you. With love, Gina Carano. If you have any inquiries, you know, she puts out the email address for her lawsuit. So definitely, definitely give her your love. I remember seeing this when it all unfolded on Twitter when Disney Lucasfilm made that statement and Gina Carano 
not having heard of that at all. And I think I'm like most fans, if they had done it correctly, gone to Gina, say, Gina, hey, look, it's not working out between us. I don't think we're, you know, you know, we're not going to keep you on for uh, the Mandalorian. Let's just part ways. You know, everything's fine. And they hadn't gone out and made that statement on Twitter. I think a lot of fans would have been like, OK, Disney, stupid, whatever. Let's move on. It wouldn't have been a big deal. But. They turned it into a big deal. And I am so glad to see that Elon Musk is going to back this, is going to support this and pay for the legal fees. This is this is absolutely awesome. You like Elon Musk or not, I don't care. I have my issues with him. He has some crazy ideas. But what he's generally been doing on Twitter, X, Twixer, whatever you want to call it, is actually kind of good. Now, I know that a lot of media is spinning it like, oh, yes, everything on, on Twitter now is just alt-right and uh, racist and stuff like that. It's it's not. It's really not. At least not in my sphere. I haven't seen any of that. So just pointing that out. That being said, I don't care if you like him or not. This is a good thing. And there is more news concerning Elon Musk and the Disney company, not just him backing Gina Carano and the lawsuit against them, but also a tweet that the libs of TikTok made. And here it is. Now, yesterday I covered a story about Elon Musk and Nelson Pels, you know, hugging it and being buddy buddy. He wore the bomber shirt that he wore when he actually dropped the F-bomb on Bob Iger. And I think it's very symbolic. We talked about it yesterday. And now this, the libs of TikTok begging, Elon, can you buy Disney and fix it? And his response with that smiley, that emoji, something's happening. I'm not saying that he's going to outright buy Disney. I don't think that would be a good idea. He doesn't have the time, and I don't think he would be the right person to actually lead the company. That being said, putting his money behind uh, Nelson Pels, Ike Perlmutter, and actually getting the Disney company moved in the right direction is a good thing. But it looks like there might actually be more than just rumors and speculation. He's being cryptic. It's looking like what he did when he bought Twitter. So anything's possible. Anything is is open at this time. And I'm I'm here for it. I'm loving it. I can't wait to see where this goes. And look, I've said it a few times on my channel and I'll repeat it again. It is hard for me to see Disney burning because of all the childhood memories I have, all the great movies and series that they had when I was growing up, Toy Story, Lion King, Pocahontas, movies like that absolutely speak to the heart and, and they're great, great children's movies and I would recommend going back and watching them. Heck, even now I'm finding films that I didn't check out as a kid that I'm absolutely loving. Crimson Dawn and and Tombstone are just two of the movies that I can't believe I didn't see them before and I've absolutely loved them. That is why it is hard to see the Disney company burning as it is. On the other hand, they had it coming. Who goes after their fans in the fashion that they did? Calling half of their fans, at least half of their fans, alt-right Yahtzees, mustache man followers. Stuff like that. Misogynists. It's all lies and it's all just them trying to cope, finding reasons why people aren't actually going to watch their movies, why they are losing millions upon millions of dollars each movie they bring out. So on one hand, it sucks that this is happening and I hate to see them burn. On the other hand, I love to see them burn on if I had two more hands, I would be like, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what Elon Musk and Perlmutter and Pelts are going to be doing 
And on the, the fourth hand, I would be like, this gives a lot of independent creatives an opportunity to put out their stuff, to, to seize a part of the void that the Disney company is leaving behind. And if you are a creative, do that. Go out, make your stuff, put it out there. Do it. I'm doing my best here, trying to cover topics, going live, talking about these things. But I also have more stuff in the background that I'm working on that I really want to do. And I'm looking forward and I'm hoping that this stuff will come out soon for you. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. This video is actually more of a prompt to video and I wanted to make it and get it out there, especially because this all happened last night and I don't want to come back next week and be like, oh, guess what? Something happened last week. Do you all remember this? And you'll all be like, yeah, it's been talked about nonstop. So here it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. It helps out every little bit and it shows me that you actually enjoy the topics I am talking about. And I know that you're part of this community of, you know, great people. I just, that's what I have to say. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. And as always, I'll be your Huckleberry. Well, 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 well.